how are schemas used in learning? Well, if you recall what we've been talking about so far, if you want to produce a skill, you might need some amount of force to send a soccer ball some amount of distance, something like that. Well, that is what Schmidt and others would call a recall schema. It is a schema used for motor production. But it turns out there's a second kind of schema that you might need. Now, there's a second type of schema, and that's a recognition schema. The recognition schema is used after the movement. And the way it works is somewhat similar, but the opposite. What happens with the recognition schema is it says, hey, I just kicked a soccer ball this far. How much force did I use to get the ball that far? And these schemas then work together. So the recall schema is used to program the movement and the recognition schema is used to evaluate the movement. And they work in tandem. The recall schema goes, all right, that's what we're gonna do. And after the movement, the recognition schema says, that's what happened. And then this is compared and that provides a basis for learning. Indeed, this back and forth comparison, trial after trial, allows you to optimize your schema. The recognition schema is used to optimize the recall schema, and the recall schema generates a movement which the recognition schema can evaluate.